This is how a group of fully grown adults got together the most heavily modified Power Wheels toys in the world to attempt the world's first Power Wheels Overland Adventure. We had Chris from Rather Be Welding with his 600 Ninja powered Gravedigger Power Wheels, complete with Overland trailer that folds into a hammock. And Steve from Hessek Moto with his Land Rover Defender. That thing's got a KTM 525 and independent suspension. Sam's gonna be driving Cinderella CRF 450 with whoop scissors. And Mike from Moto Mule, who took the Power Wheels monster truck to an entirely new level. And Ethan will be driving Colonel Senders, a 4x4 Jeep Hurricane with a KTM 990 boasting 100 horsepower. Steven Scarcello, world's rowdiest photographer, driving the brute force. And everybody loves Casey of Mobile Compact Tractor Services in Coeur d'Alene. He'll be riding his dual sport back to the truck if things go really bad. And that's me, your narrator and filmer of the trip. I forgot to get the post-trip slow-mo of myself because I'm always filming other people, but let's get it. starting point for our Power Wheels Overland trip. If they were street legal, we would have driven here from my house. Had to drive the truck. So, now we're gonna pack all of the crap that we have with us onto the Power Wheels and go spend two nights out in the mountains. We're gonna try to go about 50 miles. We're gonna go do this trip unsupported. We have two quads uh, because we didn't have enough vehicles for everyone to ride, but only the camera crew rides the quads and the quads are hopefully not going to help us in any way. Yeah, that's that's the goal. So now I've got to unload all this crap, pack it all up into what we're taking, and go up that mountain. Yeah. Hey, they didn't break. Was that one already bent? Uh, <laughs> it is now. <laughs> <laughs> so the trailer didn't fit in the truck built? No, I had to disassemble it for transport and after we assemble it, but it's only, what, five, six pieces? Not Easy. Even, so it's not, it's not that complicated. So we got here, there's all kind of trash we're gonna take with us when we leave, but apparently Ethan wants to bring some with him on the trip too. Well, Chris is very smart and brought some pads to put in his seat. There was all this foamy packing material in this pile of trash here, and Chris had some duct tape, so I'm making myself a seat cushion. I don't know if we talked about this before, but um, we've had the fuel pump just stop working a couple times. The pump itself isn't the problem, it's something in the wiring. So I haven't checked the fuses yet, it could just be a blown fuse. Um, but it's done this before over specifically really rocky, bumpy terrain and then suddenly the fuel pump cuts out. So that's where we're at. Um, on the, in other news, my garbage seat cushion is really nice. 
Um, and everything's going great otherwise. Everything's working good. Um, so we'll check the fuses, see what, see if that's it. And then uh, go from there. It never hurts to have a cool down brake. This thing runs hot on this trailer. Just a blown fuse of a fuel pump fuse. So my best guess on that is just there's some part of the wiring uh, in relation to the fuel pump that when it gets jiggled really hard, it shorts. I don't know. The point is just a fuse, so we'll be back on the road in a minute. I was being crammed in the grave digger this long so far. It's actually not as bad as I was hoping or I was thinking. That's expensive though! <laughs> a little bumpy. A little bumpy. How y'all doing? Good. So we're seven miles in. So far the only one with any problems is the kernel. Yeah, flat tire. Um, luckily Mike remembered to bring a tire plugger. I did not. So, um, we'll are you telling me snowblower tires aren't rated for 300 no, pounds? Is, what is the tow rating on the snowblower tire? <laughs> is it like a, an A? <laughs> I don't think it has one. I don't think it has a rating. A Those rating. tires are DOT approved though. All right, swap them. <laughs> they are the same bolt pattern. <laughs> Yeah, right in the sidewall. Nice. That was a really rocky section, so no doubt it just pinched, it pinched on the wheel and got it pinched flat. Ow. What's the story? Well, the story is uh, we couldn't get our lower gearing for this trip for the Colonel. So first gear is send speed, uh, which worked in two wheel drive because you're burning rubber, just mobbing. This trailer probably weighs more than me and this combined. <laughs> and it's got tiny little tires. So, trying to go up this hill, I eventually just ran out of speed and was just digging a hole. So I put it in four wheel drive, which I probably should have done to begin with, but anyway, I put it in four wheel drive and then the hill's just too steep to start on because of my high gearing. So I went back down to the bottom, got a run at it in four wheel drive, and as soon as I got going, the tire blew completely off the wheel and then I had no chance of towing it up the hill. We are calling in some assistance from Moto Mule. I need rear view mirrors. <laughs> See how the kernel does without that weight. Oh, my God. 
new <laughs> Dude, oh, you, li you literally touched the ground I with your hand. And then your body came back and like flipped over the roll cage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! <Yes>. <laughs> 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 Come back and grind her, they said. Come on, they said. <laughs> I was like, great. I said I wouldn't flip it, and here we go. I see you like disappear. I'm like, Hit the brakes! <laughs> that way, I wasn't sure if you were in it or not. So are you done? No, he said he'll let me try the ninja. Oh, I hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, you just roll everything you touch. I love it. Good night. Oh, man. I'm sorry. That was a lot of weight coming down on you, Sam. Oh. Hopefully. That thing's pretty good. That's throttle bodies, right? Oh, your throttle body popped out. Nice job. Well, somebody <laughs> finally rolled it. You knew what was coming. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. To be honest. Yeah. Oh. So you Ooh. can't hand plant maneuver that one. <laughs> well, I kind of had a feeling you were going to do something. Yep. If you want your project rolled, give it to Sam. Yep. That's what we've learned. Minus the Tacoma. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No one's rolled the Tacoma yet. That's the only thing. So surprisingly, uh, out of all of them rolling, the body got in the way the least and this. Really? I literally hit nothing. Really? So yeah. you're fine. Yeah, I'm great. Yeah? Like Steve's has those metal crossbars and I yeah. might have hit that and just don't know yet. <laughs> but this is okay. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty sweet. You can't really drip though, is there? Yeah, not. there's, there's no I really thought that this was done. I'm holding the hole that's leaking the air out with my finger. Is it working? Yep. You could stick your finger through that tear in the sidewall. <laughs> so. You wanna try doubling up those? Well, I could either try doubling a tire plug or I could just try a patch, yeah, on the inside. I don't really want to take this off of the bead, because if we take it off, we're not going to be able to rebead this. I mean, we maybe, but it's going to be way harder. Get your hand in there. I got the tire fixed. It has four patches in it. Um, it's holding air, so we'll let that sit with just a few PSI in it overnight and hopefully all the patches will be nice and cured by morning. Um, now the problem is that axle is very bent from bashing on rocks because this trailer has no clearance. So Steve here has got his winch on the front of the Rover and it's a better winch than Cindy's. So we are gonna hook the winch up to the axle and try to straighten it out. The problem with it being bent is that the wheels are towed in and are rubbing on the springs. Have you actually had to use your winch before? I just put it on. So this is really cool.
This is a new level of fail. <laughs> the safety chain squirt didn't do us any good. No. There you go. There's your trailer. <laughs> oh. And this is why we don't use Harbor Freight stuff for overlanding <sighs> in the future. That's pretty good. <laughs> is that going on the wall of shame? <laughs> yep, this is definitely going on the wall of shame. <laughs> Along with the clutch plates in, this, in the kernel right now. <laughs> Ironically, both these things broke at the same time. Like, completely done. We got down, like, we were going downhill and the clutch in the kernel was holding on to life just enough to get me moving and keep me going off over a few flat spots. And then it got fully flat and a tiny bit uphill and it was just done. Uh, for the last 100 yards, I was holding on to the back of the quad, pulling myself along. So, and then and then I saw the trailer upside down. I was like, that's not good. I didn't see the digger. I was like, there's no way Mike rolled down the hill and left the trailer <laughs> behind. Like, but, like, but at first I was like, but where's the grave digger? Did he go down the hill? Like, what happened? First thought coming up, I just see the trailer upside down. I was like, I hope Mike's okay, and I'm like looking down in the bushes. Like, oh, that was awesome. Yeah. No, for me it was just bang, clink, clink, clink. This thing dragging behind me. I think that pretty well sums up the trip. Trailer hitch, air banjo. I think this is uh, scrap metal at this point. But I also think that we can get this tongue back on here uh, enough to keep moving very slowly. Uh, and we can tow the kernel with the quad. Um, and we can just keep cruising and we'll at least be able to get to a spot where we can turn the trailer around when Casey catches up with us. It was so funny. I was right behind the trailer and then it goes a little sideways. And I'm like, I'm gonna pull back just a little bit in the smoke. And all I see from the dust is the cooler, like oh, 10 oh, feet in the oh, air. It ejected the cooler. <laughs> full on ejected the cooler. The co oh, it's we fine, can, dude. Can <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we took off this broken section from inside of here. And then this section still slides over this. So we just slid it over shorter. And now the tongue's another foot shorter. And uh, we should be able to kind of bolt it back together. And then, oh, oh. and then it goes down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> How far back was it? <laughs> I don't know, you made it a few hundred yards. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone else's power wheels seem to be doing just fine, but we could not say the same for Grind Hard Plumbing Co. Our trailer flipped over because it broke. The kernel can't go anything less than like a pretty steep downhill because the clutch is totally fried. And now, Cindy, my chain just flew clean off. <laughs> the extra chain links are in the trailer, but it's just a mess. Catastrophic failure is the name of the game today. Honestly, no place I'd rather be. <laughs> this is fun. So I completely lost the brakes. Turned out I just burnt them to a crisp and we're out of fluid, so the new idea is let gravity do most of the work. And when gravity doesn't work, you're just gonna give me a little push, right? Right. <laughs> That's about all we can do. The extra chain is in the trailer and those guys are long gone. So as long as it stays pretty steep though, this should be fine. Yeah, I'll just put behind you. <laughs> push to get you going. <laughs> all right, let's see how this goes. I know you're already a real dad, but in a lot of ways, you're the grind hard dad. <laughs> We just come into everything underprepared <laughs> and you always save us well, every time we hang out. <laughs> hey, well, you guys bring fun to my life. <laughs> oh yeah, so you are a grind hard dad. Yep. <laughs> well, I'd say so far this is working out really well. It does constantly feel like I'm going to get run over by a grave digger, so that's nice. Coming into our first flat section. I think I'm gonna need a push. This is actually nice. It's really peaceful.
What's your recap? How'd it go? Uh, it went pretty good. It broke almost everything. Uh, what are you talking about? You didn't break anything. Well, my friends, they broke all their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> my stuff's good and it works fine. Uh, no, it was awesome. Uh, rock climbed with a trailer with a Land Rover buggy. And we hit this paved road to go get the trucks to recover. And me and Chris were like racing behind the dirt bike doing like, I don't know, 50 something with trailer. It was awesome. And uh, now we're gonna continue the adventure. <laughs> it's been rad. Good trip, well worth coming. <laughs> Everybody's a little tired, a uh, little dirty. Could use a good shower, so uh, we'll go uh, have, some, have some fun somewhere else. I could probably pack warmer clothes next time. Pack a sleeping bag, because that night in that uh, hammock was the coldest I have ever been in my entire life. So, packing warmer clothes next time. So do we got you as cold as you've ever been in your entire life? Yes. Yes. Easily. That's what we do in Idaho. Yeah. <laughs> Push it to the extreme. <laughs> Dude, it was uh, exactly how I pictured it go. Classic grind hard style. So Steve gave us a 90% guarantee these would hold the digger. Not bad. The grave digger is not comfortable. It's very capable. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, got some nice bruises from the shifter, um, plenty of knee exposure to the sun. Ended up having to tow the uh, Overland trailer here up with the grave digger. So I had all my gear plus pull the trailer up a pretty gnarly hill. And I'm hoping you got some good footage of that thing doing wheelies going up that hill. <laughs> oh yeah, because that was pretty rad. We need to do this again many times. Yeah. And every time we'll get better at it. I'm thinking maybe uh, saddlebags instead of a trailer would be fun because we could go much cooler places. But trash seat worked though. Oh yeah, the garbage seat was amazing. Thanks for watching guys, this trip was so much fun. I'd like to give special thanks to ARB. They make amazing roof tents and off-road gear. They sent us the Simpson 3 for this trip and it was awesome. We'll be doing more videos on it in the future. Also thanks to Chris from Rutherby Welding. He get the longest drive out here, made it happen. Mike from Moto Mule, Steve from Hessek Moto. You guys are legends. We'll be doing this again. And to the Grind Hard fans for making this all possible, we don't thank you enough. I think the best thanks we can give to you guys is to just keep making our content better. And we're going to attempt to post a video twice a week for the rest of the year. And that's our thanks to you guys. You're the best.